A great man I was really born to be I am a them in Oxford University Too qualified I couldn't get a job up in England I was fired from the research commission I went to Howard as a teacher But I couldn't stop this in war hunger That is why I came home And I lay my bucket down In the Caribbean political waters Then as a leader I held on to Trinidad And I ruled home With all the power that I had My intention Was to make this blessed land The envy of the whole Caribbean Twenty-five years I tried to do it my own way I was absolute monarch of all I surveyed Now my name will be remembered here for centuries to come I, Eric Eustace William I fought for a West Indian unity. Oh, my brainchild was the university federation. Though it didn't last too long, and Carista giving way to Caricom is how you call all them West Indian leaders to discuss common regional matters. But to me, their suggestions were trivial and low. When they called for a next conference, I just didn't go. From Jamaica to Guyana in the south, felt my power. Anytime I opened my mouth, the whole region had a great respect for me. I advised them all politically. Superpowers, China best diplomacy. They sent envoys, but they couldn't handle me. They all went to man, they were saying, Oh, what a man! I, Eric, you said, William. Opposition, no, they never stood a chance by the election. I whip them all on their conscience in my party. I was absolutely boss who defied me. I simply tell them to get lost with brain, intellect, and charisma. My vision was always superior. Any man who attempted to move me from the head, I just raised my hand and them politically dead. I was hated, and sometimes misunderstood, but those who loved me, they knew my intentions were good. I instituted political strategy to make sure there is a peace in the country. They will never see another one like me. Oh, my legend will live in history. And my name will be remembered here for centuries to come. I, Eric, you says William.
in my last days. I was a broken hearted man, disenchantment spread like fire in the land. Everybody start pointing their hand at me. The whole country was a plague with inefficiency. But I stood like the rock of Gibraltar. I fought every man like a warrior. But my cup was too full, was about to overflow. Then transition came and it was my time to go. Now the world knows I was a dedicated man, a historian, theater and politician. I devoted my whole life entirely to the welfare of my people and our country. My days are over and my work are not done, but my spirit will eternally live on. And my name will be remembered here for centuries to come. I, Eric Hughes, says William.